Okay, I am back. Um, we're going to start this session with uh, finishing the muscles on the face. Although they're pretty much finished. Um, we definitely can um, use a little bit more refinement. Uh, we're going to open the eyes and make the mouth you know, a little bit more evident. Uh, we're going to also add the ears. So let's see. Okay, so to start, we're going to go into damn standard. Use, use the, not the dynamic brush on this case. Uh, the intensity is good. And we'll just do this to dig in. Canthus is a little bit higher. And uh, let's see on the under sub tool. I want to see something. Shift F. Okay, pupils are right on where I wanted them. Let's go back up. And now um, the geometry is kind of big. This is kind of chunky. So, and again, the eye is higher right here on the top. Uh, the, where the curve is highest is it is in this area, and on the lower lid, it's on this area. up a little bit with the move topological. Raise that up a little bit. Perfect. And we'll go back to the damn standard. Back to the move topological. And I keep pushing these buttons. <laughs> I am going to. Oh, never mind. I'm going to get this guy over here. Okay. We're going to go for softening. Very low setting. continue to work on the eyes a little bit later when we get a little bit more um, geometry. I'm going to dig in the lips, the section right over here. And with option, I'm going to good. A little bit of so uh, smoothing. There we go, we have something already. I'm going to dig in a little more in here. And with clay tubes, we're going to lower that up. This is just in case we need to use clay buildup, let's use it on a low setting, but we will use clay tubes for now. Logical. Mm 
the upper lip has a little bit more of a belly right over here in the middle and it tends to go flat towards the, towards the wings of it. Uh, the bottom one tends to have the belly right on this side not so much in the middle but right here and it kind of there's no delineation mark in between um, this side and the actual lip there's no no ridge so it just kind of softens goes directly in there's only ridge right here on the on the front so uh, excuse me uh, with option pull it up a little bit option pull it up a little bit uh, the filtrum Nose. There you Again, this is very low geometry we're planning right, right now. I mean, you can tell the scores are pretty big. I think that's working well. Maybe a little bit less right over here. Uh, we're going to dig in. a little bit of fatty deposit right over here to create this fold. You can create it by bringing it down. I am not going to put skin on this guy just yet. Uh, like I said, I want to make uh, sure that the entire skeleton, uh, the figure, is a ecochet first. A crochet and then once we're done with the entire thing we will put the skin on we'll work on the nose a little more so let's round this up a little bit more I'm gonna bring this intensity a little bit higher That's perfect. Let's see. We have to fill the object with this and this um, MRGB and fill object. There you go. Now we can see. Perfect. Let's do a quick save. Okay. Uh, for 
for some reason this is not working. For some reason my bar over here does not want to hide now and it's not allowing me to get all the way down to this area. I'm going to fix that. All right. That taskbar did not want to work, so I just minimized it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my computer, but it's acting up. So I decided to minimize it. Um, I used to have it into an automatic that you go up and down by itself, but now it's not working. So who knows what happens? Anyways, let's get back to business here. Um, move tool. back. There you go. Actually, no. Let me get closer to this. Let me move this area. do is I'm just going to get rid of all this red. I'm going to go back to basic material and I'm just going to flood it, the object. The Sigmaticus uh, bone arch right over here is still too strong. Fill it up a little more. bring it in Can bring that chin in a little bit the angle of the jaw it's too prominent I don't like it that's much better skin shift 4 fill the object with that going to do now it's under lights lights uh, I'm going to add another light we're going to have this one right up here front and I'm going to have a secondary light double click on it move it as a rim light on the other side so that we don't have such harsh shadows. We can even have a third one down over here. Actually, let's see what the ambience is on this. Okay, I have a strong one right over here. That's 0.85, this one's 0.3. And this one I don't want. Okay, that's good. I think that's a good set. Let's go back to the one. So this is the one that we're going to control. There you go. That's good. All right. Alrighty. Quick save. Clay tubes. here I'm going to start adding I'm going to soften this nose it's a little too strong 
and what I'm going to do probably I'm going to show the entire body oh come on and um, we're going to go into Dynamesh Dynamesh this puppy You can tell that my blur is at two. That's pretty low. So we gained some. You can tell if you go into Control Z how this was before. Very stretched out, all the polygons. And now, if we go where it was it's a little better now granted a lot of these forms got lost so what we can do is hide up the resolution uh, make it up I don't know 1500 see, yeah see how that goes enter and then click in the background so otherwise this will go back to 1020 um, and hit dynamesh again well I decided against it. It was taking too long. Um, I'm going to go for the ears first and then I'll remesh this. So, cause it's going to take me super it's going to take super long. So, I just might as well do the ears right now. The ears should be located at a position um, they should be the same height as they'll should start from the eye area right here from the eye and this should end somewhere where the nose ends so it's this much um, I want to go and measure my he this head and make sure that the eyes are centered and at this moment they don't seem to be centered I'm, I'm doing a measurement and they don't seem to be very centered I can do this by uh, hitting W and using the this line and as you can see they're way too high so we need to fix that uh, the transpose line is what will you know sometimes you can use that to, to measure angles and stuff like that it's not uh, super accurate by any means but it really does help sometimes so anyway Q and I'm gonna lower these eyes and remove topological. Now this will create some issues. And it's not by much that, that I need to be down. Soften it. Bring this down. Probably a little less. That is with uh, Control and Option. You get that mask. Now Control, tap on it to soften it. Now let's bring the eyes down, the W, and we're going to bring them down. Let's make sure that the pupils are looking straight at us. There you go. And that's good. And there's still... good 
does give, definitely give it a different character. But if we measure now, we're gonna go from here to here. You can see, and they're still a little high, but it's, a l it's much better than they used to be. I think I'm gonna leave it there. I think that's good enough. in between them and I am going to use the clay um, sorry the damn standard for this I remember that there's a can canvas there oh. it's better to do it from this position actually let me use the move tool for this Topological in that good size. Reverse. I want to use with control, I'm going to hit right over here and select the mass lasso tool. you have a little bit more control over this soften it up and move this now probably a little bit bigger brush because it's creating a lot of There you go. Much better. Okay. So let's move on onto the ear. We're going to have an area. There's roughly. Um, to mass rect. And when you uh, hit the space bar, also, and you know, you hit control in the space bar, you can actually move the selection. It should be, the ear should be around this line, right there. So, and should be in the middle. So, right over there. And should start right behind the jaw. So, it's somewhere in this area. Now, with pen okay that's good a little more forward tends to be leaned back a little bit Okay, so now what we're going to do is with the transpose line, we're going to start right here, drive it to here. Let's go, probably the best thing is right here. And with ro rotate or R, we're going to pop them out. Just like that. And of course, one of the things that's always bothered me is that sometimes the transpose line just moves when it, you know, it tends to snap to wherever it, uh, your cursor is, and it's just it's a pain. So, but that is a good amount. I am going to with the move tool. Oh, 
it's already on. Move this a little bit in. It was a little too much. Give it a little soften. And this is why I always like to just work on the head. <laughs> Or in whatever the the actual mesh that I'm working on, I just want to isolate it, and I have to deal with all the other stuff because it just gets in the way. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Control Shift, and just leave the head. Let's do another quick save. Our clay tubes. Open that up a little bit, that transition. Inside, move this towards the front. Good way to know is just by bringing it down and see if they match. Yep, and they match down here too. Okay, so that's a good, good height. And I think now it's time. We're getting close to the time where we need to start thinking about retopologizing this. I mean, um, dynameshing it. I gotta say is that this radio station from Russia, it's uh, sucking. <laughs> it keeps going in and out. way too stretched out so now that I have created the desired geometry I'm going to add the anti-helix this is the helix right over here and the one inside is the anti-helix And yes, right now it's kind of chunky. We're going to have to deal with that for now. And I think it's time to add some geometry. Let me see how bad it is in here. No, that's really bad. Okay. So I am going to go into DynaMesh now. I'm going to show the rest of the body. There it is. And. I have it at 2048. I realized before that 1024 was still too low. I tried it at 1600 and it was still too low. So 2048 will give us hopefully a much better resolution. Uh, we're going to have a enter for the. Oh, I think it crashed.
Well, it was a good thing it didn't crash. I thought it did. It was there for like a good five minutes, wondering what it, uh, if it was going to actually work or not. But anyway, it went exceptionally well with this. Um, we have new topology. As you can see, there's good quads over here. It's a little too dense for my liking, but it'll do for now. Actually, let's just soften this up. It's, it's going to have to raise the intensity for the smooth. And this is the problem with very dense meshes. They tend to have issues with, I mean, the smooth brush tends to have issues smoothing them out. You have to set it at a really high settings sometimes. Uh, it's not too bad right now, but. There you go. Okay. So we're going to go into the damn standard brush and we're going to dig in a little bit in this. That intensity is too high. <coughs> Excuse me. right on top. Make that cut. Soften it because it just looks horrible like that with that indent. Let's cut the head again. This is getting in the way. Again, we're already having st stretching issues right here on this area. I need to bring this out a little bit because it's way too... <coughs> there you go. Not, not this. Actually, let's do this too. I grab the lasso tool. <coughs> shapes way too much actually let's do this It'd be a lot easier if I do this make under and under um, polygroups. Let's make a polygroup for masking just in case we need it again. Let's reverse this. Let's play with this ear. Perfect. It was with the inside of the ear.
to with the clay tubes so I just want to create another selection right over here and right over here okay a little softening of the brush Perfect. Soften this up. Oops. Too far in. Soften. Let's move that out. There you go. That's good. Maybe a little bit of inflate. Yeah, that's good intensity. Light that up a little bit. Create the lobe of the ear. Okay, and clay um, clay tubes. Actually, let's go with standard for now. And with the Alt key, let's dig in the forms. Smooth it out. Let's create this form right over here. too much. Soften it, smooth it out. A little more. Quick save. Yes. I am completely afraid right now that this computer is going to crash on me. <laughs> It's really, really doing weird things. Um, I better make sure that I save all the time. Okay, let's bring this out a little bit more. There you go. Let's bring some more forms. Standard. Going to bring the actual. I am going to mask the the helix right there and right there and right there. Probably should do all of this. And start to dig in more a little bit here and create the anti helix. At least the parts that go underneath the helix. Everybody's ears slightly different. There's no 
correct way of doing it. As long as the helix and the anti-helix are there, that's all you need. up actually this ones tend to go against very close to the helix and this is deeper at least in my ear I'm, I'm checking out a copy the um, photo of my ear that I took as reference this one up and this really needs to go deep so with alt to carve it in carve some more up here Inside where the ear hole is, this continues right away here. It's a soft and, and a lot smoother area, but it's still kind of concave. I'm going to bring this down quite a bit more. Actually, this towards this area. There you go. That looks good. I think that is a winner. I'm gonna grab this. And I am gonna bring with the move tool this area. Because it's almost totally against it. And that looks perfect. Uh, so I'm going to soften it up a little bit, really low settings for that, very good. Now with the damn standard, I am going to do a, I think that size is good, and it's at a low setting, and let's see the intensity low, and with the um, alt key, let's to tighten this up. That's good. Let me get the standard a little bit more. Push that in. Perfect. That was softening. I think that's good. moving up the jaw. Okay, we've got a pair of ears. Uh, in some people, the anti-helix pops out a little more. Um, so I guess we can work on that a little bit. With the move topological. We can bring it out. Not much. There you go. 
that's good and I think this does it for the head Let me smooth out the lips because once I did the dyno mesh um, it likes to create all of this because I don't have it set to smooth it creates a lot of jagged it edges along the old um, polygons so a smooth real quick we'll do wonders for it oh that's right we still have to do a little bit of work on this nose so to perfect it to get it close to where we want it or where it should be uh, a little work here on the eyelids so let's move them out perfect beautiful I'm gonna really smooth out those ridges and we're still showing a lot of the muscle striations and all that um, I still don't want to get rid of them we'll fill them up later like all this area needs to be filled out with fat very good right now I like it let's put a little bit of clay over here oops what was that all about RGB these are very soft changes in planes and you gotta be very careful how you apply that you gotta be very smooth with your strokes right now I'm barely putting any pressure I'm relying on the pressure on my hand to dictate how this goes I'm not relying on the on the actual brush's strength just very lightly on with the pen Oh, see, that's too strong. Too much. Bring this with Alt key, bring a new edge. I want this lip to be a little bit thicker. Very good. Let's move that out. And clay tubes again. standard checking all the angles I'm gonna use a little bit of damn standard I'm getting close and with the uh, number one key, do it several times because that repeats the last stroke now we have a really deep inset in there because this will become a problem once again once we <laughs> decide to do any um, dyno meshing if we have to do it again it's just gonna completely um, weld the, the lips in that area but we'll deal with that problem when we get there Smooth it out.
This is just me being picky about how it looks. With the alt, create a little bit that ridge. Smooth it out, look at it from far away. Rooftop logical, bring this down. That looks good. We have a good bone structure right over here in the orbital. I want to work a little bit more on the eyes with alt and while hitting damn standard a little bit larger brush sharpen the eyelids dig in the inside of it sharpen the lower one Create the canthus of the eye, sharpening it, digging in, actually let's use the clay tubes to dig in a little better in here, oops, the other way around with the alt key. Canthus and let's bring it right over here. The lacrimal of the eye. Move topological. Bring this down. Let me get rid of the eyes for a second. I'm going to select the inside of the eye. going to dig it in probably a little bit more there you go and now push it in solo out again. I create the height of the eye over there and the one below edge. Bring this back in a little bit more and a little too thick at the moment. This one in particular right over here. It needs to adhere a little bit more to the eyeball. Yeah, of course, a lot of these parts will have uh, some fat deposits underneath so to make them thicker. But we're not dealing with that right now. Clay tubes. There you go. Beautiful. I want to create this right over here. The eye tends to have a little bit of a ridge, so does up here. Not much, it's not very very noticeable, but it's got to be there regardless. The lacrimal actually has kind of a ridge which is stronger. There you go. And our eyes, the 
outside count is the outside corner should be higher than the inner one. So let's deal with that right now. They're a little bit too even. There you go. That's much better. And again, I think this eye is a little too oval. I'll leave that there. Bring that back up. Bring this slightly in. Maybe too much. Very, very good. I like it. Let's work on the nose. Smooth it out a little bit with the damn stand. I mean, with the standard brush and Alt. We'll create the nostrils. Inside cartilage it goes inside. This part it's not smooth. There's a ridge, there's a little bit of cartilage right there. They're round. It's too much. Smooth that out by letting go of the actual shift key. His nose some is it's bugging me. It's too square. So remove with the move tool. It's supposed to be sort of square. I mean, it's not necessarily round. It's definitely... And again, most people's noses are different, so there's no set standards for it, but that's too... I need to give it a little bit more arch. I feel like it needs it. No, to do that. I don't like that. bit more roundness at the top. Whoa. With the damn standard, we're going to create the little notch that goes in between. There's a cartilage on each side right over here. Clay two, so I'm going to create that cartilage, and then I'm going to soften it up. Many people is not very noticeable, but you know a lot of people it is. It's right here in the middle. It should be like this. A little bit of a convex nature. Two lobes right over there. There you go. I'm sorry if I start whistling. I tend to do that. I move this down a little bit. There you go. Much better. Yeah, the clay and a low intensity. There you 
we go. Make sure that we have that bone there. Perfect. This is round, has no edges. Okay. Head is done. I think it's looking good. It still should be at the high at the measurements that we set. Yep, top is on the top, chin is on the chin. At the bottom of this measurement. It's roughly three quarter there's uh, you can divide it into threes from the chin to the bottom of the nose, from the nose to the top of the uh, eyebrows, and from the eyebrows to the top of the head. So, we're good. Let's, let's bring the body back. And there is our first step. Head is done. We will continue with, uh, in the next video, we will continue with the body, uh, the pelvis. We won't touch the uh, the butt because the butt is part of the uh, part of the legs, but definitely the the frontal part, uh, pelvis, chest, and back. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.